Hi, and welcome to another BandLab bit. Today we're talking about the Slice Set Playhead button. The button is found in the upper left hand side of the menu bar. And you can see I have it highlighted right here. And right now it's grayed out. So what we have to do is click on a loop. It'll suddenly go light, and then we can use it wherever we want. So let's move the playhead to where we want to slice it. And then what we're going to do is press the Slice Set Playhead button, thus splitting up my loop into two new loops of their own. I'm going to do one more chop. I'm going to make a one bar loop right here and I'm going to hit S this time which is a shortcut for slicing at the playhead. Now the great thing about this is even though I've sliced up this loop it's doing something we call non-destructive editing. I can actually drag these loops back out to their original size and I'll get the same loop over again. So if I grab the lower right hand corner I can drag this out to its original four bar size and I have the same loop again. And I can do the same non-destructive editing with my new loops that I've created. So first we're going to take a listen to the sliced loop that I just made. Now if I want to recreate my original loop, I just grab the lower right or left and drag back or forth to the original size and I'll have the same loop. Once you drag out to silence, you know that's where your loop point should stop and you got to bring it back to the original size. Now I can go and do this to any of the other loops that I have created from my original loop. It's like uh, slicing up a starfish, I guess, scientifically speaking, where it will regrow itself back to its original form. So that's enough for the non-destructive editing. Let's take a look at the new loops we have created. Now to take the slice and make it into a new loop, just grab the upper right and drag it out like you normally would a loop. Here we go. And if you don't like it, you can use the command control Z to undo it and take it back to its original cut size. Next, I'm going to take an even smaller slice. So I just took a one bead slice out here. And the same thing goes. I can drag it out and have a new loop. Now, once again, showing that it's non-destructive editing, I can drag this little one bead loop and drag it to the right and drag it out to the left using the lower handles. And I'll get my original loop all over again. So far I've been slicing things built around the grid system that we have in BandLab. But what we're going to do is we're going to focus on getting a little more precise. So I'm going to zoom in on our original loop and we're going to take a small little section out of that loop. So you can see kind of this little section of audio. I'm just going to take that one little section right there. So to increase my precision, I'm going to turn off my snap to grid, which allows you to have an infinite amount of precision when you're slicing your loops. So go to view click on snap to grid, turn that off, and now I can click on the track, highlight exactly where in the loop I want to cut, use the S shortcut or the slice at playhead button, and then I have a loop exactly how I wanted to have it cut, at the exact points that I wanted. And now I have a new loop that I can copy and paste somewhere and loop it out exactly how I want to have it looped. Let me just undo this and then what we're going to do is turn the snap to grid back on by going back to view and clicking on snap to grid. And that's it for slice at the playhead. So remember, slice at the playhead will chop a loop wherever you want, wherever the playhead is placed. You can non-destructively edit it and you can rebuild a loop just from a tiny little part. You can also turn off the grid system and go for a more precise chop of wherever you want to within the loop itself. So that is it for our BandLab bit on Slice at the Playhead. I hope this was informative, and I will see you next time.